Hello everybody, my name is Pia Hengsler, I'm from St. Gallen, Switzerland. Over the last 10 years I've been working with youngsters in different youth welfare institutions. I studied um, social work in my hometown. And hello everybody from me, I'm uh, Maren Zeller. Right now I'm a professor at also Fachhochschule St. Gallen, which is the place where I met Pia, or Pia and I met. Um, in before that, I uh, used to work in various positions and universities in Germany. I'm originally trained as a social pedagogue and um, affiliated with Intrac now for almost 15 years. And today I would like to point out two aspects of my current um, work. One is I just finished an edited book with uh, my colleagues from Luxembourg, which is on leaving care and agencies an agency and uh, it actually comprises uh, chapters from all four German-speaking countries so it's a kind of an international book although it's written in German. The second um, aspect is that I'm doing research now on uh, refugee youth or unaccompanied minors as calibers also from an international but well European perspective. So actually on the upcoming Global Intrac meeting, which will take part on September the 1st, I will host a thematic interest group together with uh, Paul from Kampala, Uganda, and to discuss right, this issues around refugee youth and living care. And you're all welcome to join us there. Yeah, join her. In my master thesis, I wrote about the process of living care as a specific part of the cure and child protection in Winterthur, a city near Zurich. The thesis goal was it on one hand to explore the needs of the care lever in this transition and on the other hand to um, get answers or to find answer to the question what professional social worker um, think is important for a successful transition. Even though there are some individual offers there are no cor corresponding legal bases in Switzerland. The individual offers um, exclude certain young women and men through different admission criteria. I see a need to expand the concept of care lever. Young people from family-based youth welfare program shouldn't be excluded from the discussion. Based on my work experience and the results of my master thesis, I plead for a campaign of easily accessible solutions for the young people. Is a local contact point with office hour a good solution for this supply gap, or rather a decentralized solution where the social worker can, reached, can be reached via chat, or should the existing ad be extended? If you had experience with solutions that work, or um, you have the sparkling idea, please contact me. I'm looking forward to hear from you. Thank you.